Kojo Achu lives on Agoko, an island community in the Adan East District of the Greater Accra region with his wife and children. On Friday night, he recalls how he almost lost his wife and children when a building they were sleeping in collapsed on them due to the pressure of the flood water. On Saturday, he evacuated his family to safety as he returned to safeguard the remaining property. Kojo Achu is now homeless. He now sleeps in an uncompleted structure. The flood started at 1 a.m. Luckily, my wife was away and helped save our children. The building would have crashed on them. Kojo is one of over 5,000 landlords and property owners who are now homeless. Many others have lost their businesses to the flood water. Mepe is a town located in the North Thong district of the Vuta region. It's also inundated by floods. All my buildings that I have were the order of 12 for my deep freezers are all in the water. So I don't know. When I was caught from Accra, I came and the water was up to my knee level. When I climbed the story building to come down, it came to my neck. And there was nothing I could do. I couldn't rescue anything. We came here, we were told that they would come and give us food stuffs. Since the thing happened, before you get here, you have to form a queue. And the food that they are sharing, you won't get anything. Some, they will come like, uh, let's say, 50 bowls, bowls of kenke. Before you, you get your turn, you won't get anything. So yesterday, I have to take purple from someone to eat. And as I'm talking to you now, nothing. At Sukpe, in the South Thong district of the Vuta region, the situation was similar. The once vibrant farming community has been submerged by the flood water. Farmers are now counting their losses. So we are now in trouble and we don't know where to go and we have nowhere to stay now. All our properties. Where we lay our heads is gone because of the spillage. I don't know what is going on now because the way they are opening the dam, I think it's affecting us madly. Many residents have lost almost everything in just one week and are in shock. Graves have been inundated by the flood waters. Critical installations such as hospitals, schools, banks, powerhouses, marketplaces, KVIPs and mortuaries have been submerged. Help. Health experts now fear there could be an outbreak of waterborne diseases. But it appears the spillage is not ending soon. Deputy Chief Executive for Services of the Volta River Authority, Engineer Ken Arthur, says the earliest time the spillage can end is in a week's time. He says the dam is still receiving more water from upstream. We will be lucky to end. The Deputy National NADMO Coordinator, Sergi Saji, says more relief items have been secured for distribution to affected communities and residents. He warned, however, that many more communities are going to be affected as the spillage continues. Joseph Armstrong, Gold, Alibu TV3. It's been over five months since the Vota River Authority announced that it has ended the spillage which rendered several residents in the eastern greater Accra and Vuta region homeless. A visit to Mepe and other affected areas revealed life has returned to normalcy for many people. However, some residents and traders say they have not received any aid from either VRA or NADMO after the spillage. Uh, everything I lost everything, so I just used my money to buy everything here. So mm -hmm. please try to help me. About they said they give you guys money. They didn't give me money, and they didn't give me anything. I have not received any of the relief items being shared. Some areas, such as Bato, Mepe, and Sugankope, where houses were massively submerged. In water are now free from the spillage water, but there are visible signs of the levels the flood waters reached. Currently, various agencies responsible for the spillage, led by the National Disaster Management Organization and Vota River Authority, are engaged in a three-day review program 
aimed at understanding what could be done differently in the event of such an occurrence. While we celebrate some of these successes, we must be quick to evaluate our response efforts to identify areas of challenge, so to adapt strategies that will enable us to manage more efficiently subsequent events. For his part, the deputy CEO in charge of engineering and operations, engineer Edward Obin Kenzo of VRA, said VRA has learned its lessons by engaging the use of new technologies to monitor the day-to-day -day water levels in the dam. We have reviewed the event countless times with the aim of identifying all areas where improvement can be made. We are collaborating with Hydrological Services Authority to increase the number of their gauges stations to help improve our hydrological database to enhance our analysis. He added, the current water level is safe for the dam. The dam is safe. The water level is okay as per what we, are, we project. The level as predicted is about 270 feet as we speak today. Per our operation, this is the level, this is where we should be. The drops are even becoming faster and faster and faster because of the evaporation. It's also reducing some of the water in the dam. But the level is what we anticipate. He also called on all agencies to improve in their communication strategies to reduce the impact of such disasters in the near future. Joseph Armstrong, Good Alibi TV3, Mepe, Vota Region.